So looking at our dynamic warm-up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give our athletes a variety of different looks, all right? Check our boxes with certain movements to make sure we're prepared for the session today. So the first one we're gonna look at, we're gonna do some dynamic stretching. But the first one, we're gonna go knee hugs. So paying attention to my stance leg, notice how I don't bend the knee, all right? And I try to keep balance, okay? Trying to go up onto the toes is gonna be a more advanced movement. And at this phase, we just wanna focus on driving our flat foot into the ground, staying nice and tall. Next, we're gonna be looking at the leg cradle. So the leg cradle, same kind of idea, all right? Foot stays flat on the floor, good support leg. We're gonna go underneath the knee, on top of the shin, rotate and pull. Underneath the knee, on top of the shin and pull. Next, we're gonna be looking at the quad pull. So with quad pulls, what we're gonna do is staying nice and tall, I'm gonna keep my knees together, try to bring my heel towards my butt and step. Again, notice how that foot stays flat Okay, and we're not going up onto the toes just yet. So the next exercise is gonna be the march. So here we're trying to get people in the idea of skipping, okay, staying nice and tall, and just practice their arm actions. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna march in place and then slowly move it forward. I wanna make sure my knees stay up, toes stay up. Relax the shoulders, pick the nose, pick the pocket. Next is gonna be the high knees. So I wanna imagine I'm standing in knee deep water. Okay, I'm trying to run through that water, so I'm gonna get my knees and toes up out of that water. I wanna make sure that I'm not leaning back into my hips. All right, I wanna stay nice and forward. Okay, so ribs down and go. High knees, high heels is almost the same thing as the high knees, except now I'm gonna bring my heels up towards my butt and try to kick it as I'm running. Next, we're gonna go into our shuffles. So for our shuffles, uh, we wanna make sure that we, we have good mechanics when we shuffle. Okay, my hips are square, my feet are square, I'm not turning my foot in the direction I'm going. Okay, and the idea is not to reach, but to push the floor. So I'm gonna push, step, push, step. Notice how I'm not dragging that back foot. Next, we're gonna look at the karaoke. The karaoke, we wanna see if we can get some hip separation from the upper body. Okay, so as I go, I wanna keep my chest square towards you and then swivel my hips back and forth. So we're gonna do it in a nice tight confine here. So I step over, step behind, just work on swinging the hips, keeping the chest square to you. Once we have that, we're gonna go into our backwards runs. Okay, so here I'm gonna get nice and low, okay? And I'm gonna push, 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 push. Notice how the chest stays square and I'm pushing the turf in front of me, okay? Now in the next backwards run, I'm gonna actually kick and reach. Okay, so I'm gonna imagine I have a door behind me that I'm trying to kick down. The chest still stays square, okay, as I drive. Also, in our, we wanna have some different crawling patterns. So to get people in the, uh, the habit of good crawling habits, we're gonna just take the load off of the body and just keep our knees on the ground. So we're gonna start with our bear crawl. Okay, so with bear crawl, I'm gonna go hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. I'm gonna reach my right hand forward and bring my left knee behind my left wrist. So from here, I wanna imagine I have a cup on my back and I don't wanna spill the cup. I wanna control that cup. So nice and smooth. You can go forwards crawls, you can go backwards crawls, Notice how the hand and the, the foot move together, okay? If you'd like, you can also go left and right. Our final exercise here is gonna be the inchworm. So with the inchworm, I wanna keep my, flat, my feet flat. I'm gonna hinge at the hips, look down towards my feet, touch the floor, slowly crawl out, trying to push my heels towards the ground, toes towards the shin, get as long as I can. I don't dump my back, I keep my lower abs nice and tight, and I walk up, trying to pull my toes towards my shins, and repeat the action. Hey 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Stay up to date with what's happening in the gym and learn more on how you can crush your fitness goals by going to dmpfit.com. There you'll have access to the latest articles, videos, and links to my social media pages. If you're interested in joining the DMP Fit community, be sure to like and hit the subscribe button. We'd love your support.